Okay, so I got a couple new toys here. I thought I'd uh, post a video on. Um, two toys, toys were to support this, and which is the third toy. So um, maybe I'll start with the, the primary toy. Um, so this is a Gustard uh, X26. It runs the new Sabre. Uh, geez, I got too many numbers here. I think the they're the latest new Sabre uh, DAC chips. I think they're 9038 Pros, and they produce this Unreal signal to noise ratio, um, like 140 decibels, and harmonic distortion is you know un unmeasurable, and yada yada yada, so on and so forth. If you believe all the, all the numbers, so I mean, starting with a with a really good DAC chip is great, um, but it's what they do with it that that matters, um, and they don't always do good things, especially with the Sabers. I think sabers are more susceptible to um, poor implementation than some of the other chips. Uh, like the AK chips, a lot of people have negative things to say about them, you know, that they can tell it's digital and da da da. I've never had that problem. I mean, I've had 4497s, 4497 EQs, um, and another type of AK chips. Never had a problem with them, always enjoyed them, found them. Um, found them quite velvety. I think they had a line called Velvet. Uh, at one point in time. Anyway, um, enough about that. So, so this is a um, uh, a DAC uh, running the latest Saber chips. It is Gustard's flagship, and it comes with some proprietary um, uh, ways that they implement uh, those those DACs. So before I run, I run you through this, I'll show you what else uh, I added to my system here. And I haven't got it. I just, you know, arrived here tonight uh, for the weekend and started plumbing some stuff in. So because I've been ripping BSDs, uh, I got memory problems. So I went on um, um, a company, Newegg. They, they, they run both in Canada and the U.S. I don't know if they run anywhere else, but uh, they have, you know, Newegg.com or Newegg.ca. Um, I bought two uh, terabyte, two one terabyte um, hard drives. Now these are SSDs, right? So they're solid state. They're not HDDs, so there's no spinning things in there. They got better read and write speeds, and you can drop them and do stuff. Um, so because you know, if I transport my music on the weekends, it's in my computer bag, um, and the drives can get bumped around. I always find I don't get great life out of the HDDs. And when you lose one, um, well, I always keep backups, but it's, you know, it's painful. It is painful. So, um, 154 bucks, uh, plus the case, which was 10, um, uh, to, to put uh, two terabytes of SSDs. Now, my laptop's an old laptop, but it's got 500 gigs. So, in total, I have 2.5 terabytes of memory um, here. Um, which I'll, I'll use on this. Now, I've only got three quarters of a terabyte now, but I, I bought, uh, I'll do another video. I bought a bunch of vinyl. Um, a bunch of it is, is the um, LPs um, that run at 45. Um, the theory being that because they're spinning faster, they have more information on them, um, and, and they're all cut, you know, direct to disc and, and so on. Um, I haven't even played them yet. <laughs> so I may not close this setup down. I may just put, put a couple of those on. So um, when I hooked into it, uh, my system also, this is a Mackie Big Knob. Uh, it's two in, two out. It's it's a passive mixer, which is what I wanted. I didn't want anything. One, I didn't want to have a power cord. Two, I just want mechanical buttons. I don't want any electronics that's going to, uh, that could influence or, or taint or color the sound of the music, right? So uh, just using um, this. So my two in, um, one is this, the other is my turntable, which is over here. And then um, in addition to that, um, so I've got, I've got my turntable, wide angle distorts everything. I apologize about that. Um, it runs into uh, input A, DAC runs into input B. Um, wish I had three inputs, but I don't. I would love a three in, um, two out. Two out I use, um, output A goes into my transmitter for my wireless speakers, which is a, a Visa certified transmitter, um, so 24192. Um, 
And then my second output out of this um, is set up to go into my recorder for my AK380. Um, so that when I want to um, use it, it to record albums, which I'm going to be doing very shortly as I, as I play some of this new vinyl I've got, um, I can use it. So now, back to the whole point of this video, which is this um, Gustard. So it's it's your basic DAC, right? It's exactly like your your. It's balanced though. It's fully balanced, right? You got two DAC chips, two amps, two two everything. Um, op amps. It doesn't really. It, it doesn't provide really um, amplification. So um, what it has on the back for outputs, you've got Para RCA or Para XLR. You choose. They both run at the same time. So you can run both your XLR and your RCA are, are running. While this thing is running, they're running and they're and they're live. Um, I don't know if there's any any negatives to um, running them both like that, um, but that's that's how they work. So um, I do have a, a Y connector for the RCA, um, which. Um, so you plug it into both your RCA outputs in a DAC or an amp. Um, and then you've got a four pin RCA, um, connected to that, which you can plug your balanced headphones into. Um, now you don't have a ton of volume here. It's fine. It's adequate volume. It sounds nice, but you don't have loud. You've got high moderate and that's with easy to drive headphones. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't try and drive, um, Fostex or something off of this. Uh, not the TR line anyway. Um, so inputs on the back. Well, I'll show you what we have for inputs here. It's the standard. Right now we're listening to USB in. But we also have U2S. We also have optical in. We have coaxial in. AES in. Back to USB. Now one thing that this thing claims, and I've had this a couple hours. I haven't even burned it in properly yet. I'm just uh, playing with it, trying to figure it out and enjoying it. Enjoying it immensely, actually. It sounds pretty nice. Um, so what this claims to have is DSD on all its inputs, right? So I'm used to having, um, DSD, um, and I stream it direct, right? So you're actually streaming DSD direct. I, I don't have it converted to PCM. Um, and that's a, a setting in, in J river, which is the one I use. If you don't use that, I guess it's probably foobar. Or some, some, something else I, I'm not familiar with. I, I'm not all that fond of FUBAR, although it's got its advantages, and so does this. And One of its advantages, FUBAR is free. Um, this is subscription-based. But I, I have better success with it working and less frustrations, and that could be just me. So um, inputs, uh, we went through those. You got your standard inputs. Outputs, you got your standard outputs in it for a balanced stack, right? So menu. We've got PCM filters. We've got three filters. We've got Vivid, we've got Gentle, um, and Composite, okay? DSD filters, you got a whole host of them. Start with 47, you go 50, 60K, 70K. Um, we got our GPLL mode. Right? Who knows what the hell that is? Well, it's a proprietary um, filtering system that they use here on it with the Gustards. And, and it's what they claim is how they um, produce the quality of sound or the signature of their sound. And we got your high, we got a bypass. You're going to hear the bypass in a second when it clicks in. Hear that? That's what you get when you don't have the filters in place. You get static and a little bit of stuff in the background. It's, you know, it's the anti-aliasing stuff. We got uh, CDT optimizing, and we got normal, and we got high. I haven't played around with them enough yet. Um, no mode, quite simply, is no oversampling, right? And you've got two choices there. Phase inverters, enable or disable. Quite often, I don't find there's a difference with that. Although, I guess in certain circumstances, you get into situations where there is a difference. Probably depends on your wiring. Brightness, you know, self-explanatory, right? 
halfway in between. So that's it. Um, it's um, it's nice. I haven't tried their DAC amp combo, um, which is just below this, um, which is a headphone amp. It's above the A20H, but slightly below this. The price difference was not significant between the two. Um, and I didn't like, um, I didn't like that it just had one RCA out. I would like to have, um, an RCA input on my DAC capacitor, if you like. Um, so I'm, I'm going to buy a headphone amp that goes with this. Um, and I don't know what that's going to look like yet. I've been considering one of the mass drop, um, uh, monoprice TH THX, but that has come and gone. And I'm not certain. Uh, I'm not in a rush. I, I have um, um, other means to achieve what I want, so I'm going to wait till I see exactly what I want uh, before I buy it. Um, anyway, that's um, that's about it. it it's um, if you're thinking about it, about one, uh, sound quality is just fantastic, and the um, the um, it gets hot though. Like I'm just feeling the side of it right now. It gets hot, and and this whole thing is is heavy duty machined aluminum. Like I bet you the sides on it are, are over a quarter inch thick. The front feels really chunky too. So does the top. Like the whole thing is is is, and it's got big vents on the side. There's no vents on the top, but big vents on the top. Yeah, I'm not sure what those are about. So, um. Just enjoying it, just listening to it. I, I would say clarity is better. I would say separation is better. I would say imaging is better. I would say everything's better on it. I, I, I'm really, really enjoying it. Now, it depends what you're comparing it to, right? So I, I'm comparing it to, well, no slouches. So I'm comparing it to the, the previous flagship they had, which was the A20H, which was the DAC and um, headphone amp. I'm comparing it to Fostex um, HB8 Mark II, which is the Japanese version with their latest uh, DAC in it, which is an AK DAC. Um, the other one is the topping, um, X7S, um, which... I've always found to have a little bit of semblance. I've never really liked it. I've got to play around with its filters a little more to see if I can get its its sound toned um, down to to my liking a little better. Although it has started to grow on me. And the other one is the um, Fostex uh, HP4 BL balanced. Um, so those are the ones that I that I have that I, I compare this to. Um, oh, and I have a Cambridge as well, uh, DAC Magic which I got to figure out how to get rid of. Um, yeah. Um, my opinion, draw it. Anyway, hope you liked it. Um, if you did, uh, please subscribe and click like. Thank you.